Claude Williams, Claude G. Williams, G for Gabriel. I was born in Muskogee, Oklahoma, in uh, February the 22nd, 1908. I knew Claude's family uh, pretty well. I knew his mother and father. I knew uh, his brothers. And I knew his brother-in-law, which was married to Claude's sister. It was a musical family. Uh, as a violinist, I would say that he should have been uh, in the public of the eyes many years ago as far as jazz is concerned. Yeah. We came here together. Fiddler was just a, a fiddler. He was born, his heart was in it, you know. And, and I noticed him last night. He, he knocked me out. <laughs> He's, uh, he just had the, the, the qualifications, the inborn qualifications, and he just knew what to do, what he wanted to do, and did it. Now, you have a few, very few jazz harpsichord players. Uh, and you have uh, a lot of jazz pianos, but you get on to violin. That is something a little bit different. The fingering is different. And you have to make the people like what you're doing. So Fiddler, as we call him, Claude William is a violinist that plays like a saxophone. And then he plays like a trumpet sometimes. And he, Sings uh, with his violin uh, like a trombone. You don't find very many jazz violinists, not nowadays. I will say that he is about the best fiddle player, not unless one comes along years and years later. But they'll have to come from a long, long ways to play, like he does. That's just how good he is. Well, Grappelli is quite a technician, there's no question about it. He has technique, you know what I mean, uh, that's just insurmountable. You know, you listen to the things that he do, and he's got to be a technician to do the things that he do. But then when you start making the comparison, then you <clears throat> stop and think about, uh, he can't make you pet your foot like that. Me, I'm only listening to music without analyzing too, man, too much because uh, music is from the soul and I, I, if you analyze something is a kind of mathematic to me so I prefer to listen to music. I listening last night my dear friend Claude and I was amazed for his age he still play well I forget none by the way <laughs> but he's still marvelously uh, in good form. And to me, uh, it reminds me a little bit of Renance. These piquettes coming through town, and they come to the jam session, we pull out a fiddle, we get the fiddle, and we go send for him. And then we got a kid down here playing a fiddle. So when he come on down, he's doing real good. <laughs> so we just get the fiddle in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Three, four of them cats come through here with hell. I remember that Philip told me, Philip told me them cat was good. But Philip worked right along with him. He had a good time. He worked out as good as they did. He was something else. Thank you. 